how would you like to make over $6,000 online with no investment and no money? I just got the inside details from a friend making money online through virtual summits. In this video, I'll reveal how she made over $6,000 profit while working from home and with no investment. We're talking how to make money online today on Let's Talk Money. Be day. Make money. Make your money work for Creating you. Creating the financial future you deserve. Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue with the Let's Talk Money channel here on YouTube. I want to send a special shout out to everyone in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, there are tens of millions of people unemployed right now, sitting at home wondering how they're going to pay the bills. Add to this the tens of millions that just don't make enough money and has never been more important to create that side hustle that's going to help you reach that financial freedom. And I'm not just talking about the usual work from home ideas you see here on YouTube. Yeah, I've made over $400,000 through my online business and I'm averaging over $20,000 a month this year, but it took me five years to get here. I'm also not talking about all the other spammy get rich quick schemes you hear about, the promises of million dollar paydays if you just send me a check for $500. I'm talking about legit ways to make money online with no money and with nothing down but your time. Now, I actually wanted to make this a list video, like the top five ways to make money from home, but, but I started researching these and it grew into a huge video, like an hour long. I want to give you as much detail as possible, so I'm breaking this down into three videos, covering everything you need to know about one side hustle idea in each. And today is going to be my favorite idea, making money with a virtual summit. Now, I've worked on these before and reached out to a friend that just finished wrapping up hers. Liz hosted the Blogger Breakthrough Summit in February with nearly 3,000 attendees over a five-day online conference. Now, for this, she's collected $9,615 from tickets, sponsorships, and other sales. She paid out just over $3,000 to affiliates and has made a profit of $6,074 with online sales still coming in. So I'm going to break this down for you step by step. I'll show you how to set these up, how to manage everything, and how much money you can make. I'm also going to share Liz's top three tips for success at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Now, these online conferences and virtual summits were already trending over the last year, but are going to be even bigger after that coronavirus scenario. With every major conference and summit canceled, and who knows for how long or, or when we might have to do this again, these virtual summits are going to be the way people get together. So if you look at this, you can do everything virtually that you can do at a live conference. You, you invite experts to give 20 to 40 minute presentations. Uh, you can record panel discussions and you can present these live on that first day or, and include questions and answer sessions. You can sell different levels of tickets to these. You've got one price for, to attend that live recordings and the Q&A sessions for the summit. Then you use Zoom and, and another video conference platform to manage it. Then you can sell another level of tickets for access to that recorded summit. So maybe people that couldn't watch live or, or that want that recorded version, you sell this as a video course on Teachable. Beyond those ticket sales, you can also sell sponsorships to companies for brief promos during the presentations and, and mentions on social media. Now, I've participated in two of these as a speaker and they make so much money. Honestly, even a small virtual conference can easily make $10,000 for the organizer and that's profit after paying affiliates and speakers. So let's work through the checklist here to set these up and then I'm going to go into detail on getting speakers, pricing tickets, and the marketing. Now you'll first brainstorm your topic and list out the potential speakers. Now it is super easy for the speakers, maybe even two or three hours of their time max. So make as big a list as possible. You know, no person is too big. You'll next plan on what tech platforms you want to use and get to know how to use them. You can use Zoom to give in and record those online presentations and then upload them to Teachable to deliver the replays. Now, a private Facebook group is the easy solution for the networking area, but a better option would be to maybe set up a quick forum page on a blog. You're going to need that blog for the sales page and the speaker bios anyway, so adding a forum page where people can interact and, and talk with each other is, is easy enough. Now, I know the idea here is to make money with no investment at all, but you'll see even in Liz's example, she spent $500 to put hers together, $500 in, in expenses. Now, I don't think you need a lot of those expenses, and honestly, you can do almost everything with just a simple blog, which is going to be about less than $3 a month and a free YouTube channel. I've actually got a special deal with Bluehost Web Hosting for under $3 a month, so I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. Then you plan your prices and your commission schedule, so how much of the ticket prices you share with the speakers and your affiliates. Now, your ticket prices for the summit, that's going to depend on the, really the name recognition you get from some of these speakers. 
I've seen even smaller summits though with industry experts share, sell for $150 for that access to the live presentations and $50 to $75 for the replay. Now this seems to be a good price point too, a little lower for the tickets and allows you to get more attendees and collect more from sponsorships and from affiliates. You also want to use that commission structure idea here where you offer a percentage of the ticket sales if someone shares a link to the sales page and then a percentage to the speakers. Now I've seen a lot of these give out all the ticket sales as affiliate commissions and speaker fees. Then the organizer just keeps those sponsorship and, and the affiliate money. And once you've got this all planned out, you can start contacting your speaker list. First, you're just trying to get people to yes here, to commit their time to speaking for the summit. Then you'll be asking for that presentation topic and the bio to share on the summit website later on. Once you know which speakers you're going to have, you can coordinate a date and outreach to all the sponsors and affiliates. Now that live online portion of these can be over a day or two where you have maybe four or five presentations scheduled each day, and then a couple of hours where everyone is participating on the forum. Now if you're only planning on keeping sponsorship money and those affiliate commissions, this is going to be an important point, so you want to make this list as big as possible. A check out other conferences and the topic, both live and virtual, to see who's sponsoring those events. Check out blogs and YouTube channels to see what services and what products they talk about. Any of these are good targets for a sponsorship. And once you know your sponsorships and affiliates, it's a good idea to coordinate this with your speakers. This is something you need to talk to your speakers about ahead of time, but having them mention a sponsor or an affiliate product during the video, during their presentation, can be a huge boost to how much money you make with these. You'll next need to create a sales page on your blog and maybe a separate page promoting all the speakers, the sessions, a sponsors, and a resource page for affiliates. I know this sounds like a lot of work, but you can get a lot of examples of these on any conference website. Just look at some of these existing conferences in your topic and how they have their website set up. You're getting closer to the conference launch and now you need to coordinate the marketing with all your speakers and sponsors. Make sure all the speakers have that affiliate link they can share with their network and start actively promoting the conference. Surprisingly, if you've gone through all these steps, the actual conference itself is pretty easy. You'll record each of the presentations for the replays and manage the networking forum so, so everyone can talk and ask questions. So that's the general process of setting this up and making money with a virtual conference. But now I want to talk about some of the details like, like how to work with speakers, how to price your summit, and then the marketing. Then I'm going to bring Liz in for her three tips to make as much money as possible and make your summit a success. First are some basic requirements for your speakers. Now you need the presentations in your summit to look as professional as possible and that means speakers are prepared to do their best. I can't tell you how many times I've set up an interview with a, even a company CEO that didn't have a mic or, or some lighting needed for a good video. So require your speakers to have a separate microphone, the best lapel mic or something like the Blue Yeti microphone that plugs into their computer. They also need a decent webcam that produces HD video and one or two studio lights, not just those overhead lights in the room. Tell your speakers you need the slides for their presentation at least a week ahead of time for a review. Their presentations need to be at least 15 to 30 minutes of quality information that you can't get on the net and, and no, absolutely no selling or promotion. Now it's okay if you let your speakers sell books or courses or, or whatever as part of the summit, but the presentations themselves should be strictly for giving attendees that quality information. You can provide links to courses or, or whatever in the descriptions to the videos or, or maybe even have a separate sales video the speakers can turn in, but no selling during presentations. I can't stress that enough. You don't want your speakers holding back that good information trying to make a buck off the attendees. Now, of course, one of the big questions here everyone has is, how much money can I charge for tickets? Now, of course, again, this is going to depend on your speaker lineup, uh, how much name recognition those presenters have, but don't neglect revenue from those affiliates and sponsorships as well. Now, I'd say actually charge no less than maybe $100 or $150 for an all-access pass, and, and that's only if you plan on making more money through affiliate commissions, so promoting different deals and services, and, and if you've already lined up sponsors for the event. Remember, you're going to have to share that ticket sales money with people promoting your conference, uh, sharing out their links, so you might only get half of the sales for a lot of these tickets. Now, I'd price an all-access pass right around $450 and offer three levels of discounts for early purchase. So maybe you drop the price to $200 for a few weeks and then sell for $300 in the month before the conference, which is still a 35% discount. 
Now, even if you offer speakers and affiliates a 40% cut for every ticket sold through their link, you're still collecting $180 each. You also want to plan for different levels of sponsorship. So maybe just one conference partner sponsor with naming rights, then a lot of other perks for two grand sponsors, and then smaller tier sponsors for $500 each that still gets access to the emails and the promotions. Use these strategies correctly though, and you can easily make 10,000 or more in profit on even a small conference, all while working from home. Now I want to reveal those three tips Liz shared about her experience, three ways to make as much money as possible with these online events. First is to take how much time you think it's gonna take and double that to make sure everything is prepared and ready to go. This means planning everything out on a piece of paper, how much time everything should take to know when you wanna go live with the event or if you have a special launch date that you wanna hit, you'll use that to work backwards when you need to start planning. Next here, Liz says don't rely on just speakers to promote the event. Set up a strong affiliate program and affiliate contest to motivate everyone. Nation, one of the tragedies of any business is that it's not enough to have a great product. You can have the best book, the gadget, or the best virtual summit in the world, but if you don't have that marketing plan that gets it in front of people, you won't make a dime. That means you need to price this thing with enough room that you can spend on marketing and give some of it out as affiliate commissions and create an affiliate program that makes it a no-brainer for people to share their link. Another great tip here, and this is one I haven't seen before, but using that summit to get future partnerships. Liz notes that some of the partnerships and other projects she's been involved in after the summit were worth even more money. She's been able to partner on products, build on those long-term relationships, and really expand her network. Click on the video to the right for my 10 favorite ways to make money, a quick list to make thousands online fast. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.